Um, my friend's system, it's four kilowatts, which seems to be kind of an average size system. In Colorado, how long before my friend's system kind of pays for itself, for the break-even point? Sure. So your friend's system uh, at four kilowatts, um, four kilowatts means 4,000 watts, which is what we call DC power. Um, that system, you can, you can run with a good rule of thumb that every one kilowatt of power will produce about 125 kilowatt hours per month uh, in Colorado. And given a basic parameter in Colorado facing some direction on south at a decent pitch angle. Um, so his system is going, he's, you know, his initial capital um, outlay for that system will be repaid in somewhere between 10 and 15 years. Now, the payback on a solar system comes down to a variety of factors, but the number one factor is electricity rates. Electricity rates in Colorado right now through Excel Energy are about nine and a half cents a kilowatt hour is what Excel charges us. It's pretty cheap. It's some of the cheapest in the country. Um, that's compared set. to Hawaii. <laughs> well, compared to California, compared to Hawaii, compared yeah. to uh, you know, the East Coast, uh, Chicago. Um, from a nationwide perspective, it's fairly cheap. Excel has asked for a 15% rate increase this summer. That was just in the Denver Post a couple weeks ago. And we look back at Excel electric rates over the last 20 to 30 years. Um, Excel has raised rates about four and a quarter to four and a half percent per year over the last, say, 30 years. Um, historical averages in this country are about a five and a half percent increase per year, um, so slightly more than inflation. What we're starting to see in Excel territory, as well as other electricity utility markets out there, is the rising cost of electricity. Rates are going up faster now than the historic norms have been due to a variety of reasons, increased energy costs across the board, from gas, oil, coal, um, you name it. Um, so it's fair to make the assumption that electricity rates are going to go up. It's a question of how fast. So as, as they go up, the payback on the solar system starts condensing. And so if you're offsetting 9.5 cent per kilowatt hour power today, that goes up 15% this year, 10% the following year, 15% the next year, or whatnot. Five years from now, power costs might be 15 cents a kilowatt hour. And now you're offsetting 15 cents a kilowatt hour power, which means you're saving that, that much more, which means your payback gets condensed. So I think it's a fair assumption to say in Colorado, um, a, a residential solar system will likely have about a 10-year payback. That's probably where we'll end up when it's all said and done.